Do you know who this man is? He's got a hairstyle reminiscent of when I wake up without combing my hair. He's just like wearing any neckties, so who could this possibly be? If you've been following the news lately, you know this man as the founder and CEO of a pioneering spaceflight company, SpaceX. For car enthusiasts, he is the CEO and product architect of a pioneering electric cost company, Tesla. He was also the founder of PayPal's predecessor. And we surprise you to find that in truth, all these men are one and the same, Elon Musk. Now, I may come off a bit as a Musk fan, and maybe that's true. I'd like to be like him one day, if only I had the money and capital. In this presentation, I would like to share Elon Musk's various enterprises, his visions for each one of them, and how they all synchronize to form a future, if only a bit tinted rosy, similar to that of the Star Trek Federation. SpaceX is arguably one of the most well-known out of Musk's enterprises, with his fantastic performances involving space tourism, sending people up to the ISS, rockets whose boosters land perfectly on platforms after being used second, pre-second stage to be used again, SpaceX takes first place as top newsmaker in Musk's array of enterprises. Now, here's a list of three innovations and goals that SpaceX has in mind. The first, the Falcon 9, was, first, was the first demonstration of reusable boosters. Reusable boosters, after being separated from the payload after stage two, boost itself to deorbit and land on a platform, usually in a boat on the, in the ocean. The fact that boosters are now reusable significantly cuts the cost of the flight as we only need to worry about the payload and the fuel now boosters being reusable. The second, Star Starlink, is a program that seeks to instill an orbital constellation in satellites in low Earth orbit to provide internet everywhere and anywhere. This requires about 1,440 mass-produced satellite grids to be put in orbit, which as of September 2020, 60 are being deployed at a time. The third, the mission to Mars, was actually one of SpaceX's founding goals. The numerous delays have been made ever since the project was first announced. Musk hopes that millions will be flying to colonize Mars in thousands of rockets, enabling a self-sustaining human colony to be established by 2035. SpaceX, oddly enough, is an all, invest, is an all investment in space. Musk envisioned a new method of transportation called Hyperloop, a fancy term for maglev trains in hundreds if maglev, maglev trains and vacuum tubes speeding at hundreds of kilometers an hour. SpaceX, back in 2015, held a competition on designing Hyperloops on a mile-long track built near SpaceX HQ. A total of three competitions were held, two in 2017 and one in 2018. Tesla was founded in 2003 by two engineers who envisioned an automobiles manufacturing company that also acted as a tech company. Musk joined the company as one of the three first employees and later took the position of CEO in 2008 and onwards. The company's primary products are electric vehicles and power sources, especially solar and Tesla's Powerwall. Tesla also has an array of innovations in both its primary industries and the manufacture of its products. Tesla's cars are, of course, electric, which means the car is powered by, wait for it, electricity. This is synergized with the Tesla Powerwall, a giant battery stuck to a wall that, <clears throat> that also acts as a power controller, sending power to a Tesla car and your house. This, of course, is optimized for American customers who have their cars not in their apartment basements, but in their garages a few meters from their lounge. Tesla's innovations don't end there, however, as their system of manufacturing is, it is also an innovation in and of itself. Tesla's Gigafactory is, modul is a modular and tileable design, making expansion and efficient designing that much easier. Our future is shaped in part by our innovation. The Musk is well known because he actively advertises the fact by shooting rockets up into space. Other companies around the world are making innovations and optimizations this very day, hour, minute, and second. If only our innovation finds enough capital to see, come, to see it come to fruition, there will be a future that we all dreamed of, a Star Trek come true. Thank you for listening.